move into just kind of close out with a, a real life case study. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, you know, the, this, this conversation is about innovation. It's about what's going on in the industry in terms of innovation, sharing a little bit about what Dell's doing and our partners are doing around innovation, and, uh, and giving you some opportunity to see how you, know, you may engage with us on a, on a lot of different fronts. Everything from open source software development to open source hardware development to uh, to uh, you know experiencing uh, one of our new uh, Sputnik uh, laptops. That's uh, that's pretty cool. So this company Echo that um, does that we acquired a little while ago, and they do security, and they're they're a top security provider around the world. It's a serious guys. Uh, they've been doing this for a long time. SecureWorks. And, um, and they have, a, have a, just a, an incredible business helping people to protect their IT environments. And uh, that includes governments, it includes banks, it includes nuclear power uh, centers. And um, when, when they were looking at their growth and what was going on, they really decided that they were going to run into a big data problem. And that there was a way that they could create a more efficient environment where they could deliver better capabilities to our customers. And, they, they started looking around for new technologies and they heard about what we were doing with our big data solution. And in our big data solution, when we put the group together, we, we decided to adopt three things in our initial year. One was cloud and cloud OS environments around open source. We adopted OpenStack and got really active in that. Uh, the second was around big data, which was uh, what we felt uh, a great opportunity as well. We wanted to adopt an open source framework. We went with Hadoop. And then the third thing was we wanted to actually develop software and release it into the open source community. That, that was Crowbar. The reason we did that is coming from the software industry, we felt we wouldn't have any street credibility if we didn't actually write code and actually release it to the community and participate, not just uh, uh, be a member of the community. And so, as we all know, Hadoop is, is receiving a great deal of growth. Um, we actually come out with a solution last year uh, we just made some recent announcements about it when we added to our ecosystem with uh, Pentaho, which is an open source uh, capability that adds a great deal of value to our solution. And it's a turnkey solution. Our average you know, node deployment initially is around 20 nodes. Um, we've had tremendous success. We came out with this in October, I think it was. And the demand for it, it just keeps growing and, and keeps exploding. How many people actually knew we had a big data open open source Hadoop solution in the market today. Anybody in the room? Okay, you guys don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting. So again, part of this conversation is to kind of tell you things about Dell that you didn't know. Um, well, SecureWorks needed to optimize their environment for the delivery of their services, and they also needed to look at, in order to stay competitive, about how they could optimize their back end in order to keep their costs down. And so they had a data problem, their data was growing at a a, a great rate. They bumped into us. Uh, believe it or not, we don't live right next door to each other. Uh, and many times you don't communicate with other divisions at Dell. There's over 100,000 people there. But they heard about what we were doing around uh, big data. And they came and they looked at our reference architecture and decided to actually do an evaluation. And this was great for us because we were actually selling and adopting in the marketplace with outside companies. And the first thing you always get asked when you're a big you know, a company like ours, it's, okay, are you guys using this? And so anytime somebody internal to Dell, and I just got off the phone with an organization that's going to be adopting our OpenStack solution internally, and anytime you can get a reference model inside, it's, it's great to do that, okay? So we naturally just jumped on, on this bandwagon to help them. Um, and they actually, you know, we're, again, we're looking at a cost model around their data, which all our customers are talking about. They were looking at an open source strategy because they wanted to have a, an opportunity for a great deal of innovation and flexibility. And they, they also wanted to, um, you know, leverage an environment that they already have or create the same environment they already have, which was to have a high availability. Because these guys are around the clock, you know, they don't, they don't go home. Uh, when they do go home, they're, they're working, you know, they're delivering security services to our customers. So, so very, very high demand, mission critical type platform. Their results were pretty remarkable in terms of uh, what actually occurred. They, they had 80% savings over the previous big data solution. Uh, their payback period was less than a year on the investment. And from the time they actually thought they were going to do this, this isn't the actual technical time, it was about six months that they were up in production and, and receiving the benefits, which, you know, is, uh, is 
you know, we've seen companies do it faster with our solution. Um, we've seen companies go from 20 to 200 to 600 nodes in that same period, um, but they weren't doing security. And they didn't really do a, you know, an underwear inspection of every single aspect of what they were doing, which these guys did. Um, and keep in mind, their, their data is growing 2x two, two you know, um, in, in terms of every 18 months, and, and you know, that's going to just increase their overall savings in terms of what they're trying to do. So again, real life use case model, um, we actually published a case study on this. In, the, uh, in, in one of our announcements today. So what do we want to leave you with? And I know we're, we're kind of wrapping up a little bit, so I'm going to have to uh, wrap up a little bit. The first is, you know, perspective on the world is, you know, open source is being adopted across industries now. The good news is, the conference like this, that's, that's real job security, you know. That, that's something that when we look at it, it's going to create environments for everybody that's participating in, in open source to really continue to help the community they're involved in, continue to help their customers. But it's also going to drive, I think, a, a greater level of innovation and a greater level of collaboration and of quality in the industry. Um, because I think we're going to have much more attention paid to some aspects of things and, and resources applied to some of the challenges that we've been seeing that in the past wouldn't be applied. And I think OpenStack's an example of that. OpenStack constantly sort of fluctuates between, gee, you got a lot of big vendors in there, and are they just buying their way into OpenStack? But at the same time, what you're seeing is a lot of those big vendors are making active contributions to the community, whether it's, uh, we just hosted a worldwide um, uh, deploy demo on OpenStack. Um, we had some of our partners participate in that. 322 people involved for over 24 hours, I think, because we did a Every time zones on every continent. Time zones on every continent, around the world. I mean, I'm, I'm in London, and, and you know, I sit down with a customer. The customer says to me, "Oh yeah, we just agreed to host for you guys." I'm going, "Wait a minute, we're doing that in three days." Yeah, yeah, we had a lot of people that wanted to come over. They're going to spend a few hours here, and uh, we're going to host, and you know, we'll be connected in with, with your team. You know, that's the type of thing that somebody in Prague that said they were going to join. They were setting up stuff. We had centers, actual physical centers that people came into hosted by uh, lots of end users and, and also different sites around. So, so I think it, it's going to be a great, uh, a, a great you know, next five or six years. I think you know, the, the idea around open source, and this is one of our themes is, open source is not fueling innovation, it's actually leading innovation. And we had this debate with some legacy licensed shrink wrap software guys that, uh, that Rob likes to remind me of all the time, where they said, well, the reason people you know, don't like open source is because you know the, the, the cycle times just aren't aren't there and like they are with shrink wrap product. And we were in the room and our heads just kind of exploded saying, what are you talking about? You know, let's talk about the innovation around some of these um, some of these environments and the amount of capability that's being added and the quality of the capability that's being added. Um, because it's really come a long way. And I think I'll close with that. Um, I want to thank you all very much for your time. And uh, if you have questions, we'd be happy to take one or two. But, uh, but I know we're running over a bit. So any questions?